what's up guys it's kashif and today in this video i will show you most awaited thing which is how to install android 7 which is android nugget on virtual box or pc so without wasting any time let's begin first download the android 7.iso file and virtual box 5.1 from the link down below in the description now after downloading install the virtual box now open the virtual box now click on new and you will see create virtual box dialog box. Now name it as android 7 or nougat. Now select type as linux and then version as linux 64 bit. After that click on next. Now set the memory size to 2048 MB. Now you have to select create a virtual hard disk now option. Select VDI. You have to select dynamic allocated on storage on physical hard drive option. Now click on create. Go into settings. Now you can see my settings what it is. Now in storage settings, click on controller SATA and click on this minus button. Now click on plus button and select add IDE controller. Click on controller ID and select right hand side plus button. Then select choose existing disk. Now go into C users, then your username, then virtualbox VMS and then Android 7. After going into that folder, select android7.vdi. Now click on right hand side plus button and select leave empty. Now click on empty. Now in optical drive menu, select IDE secondary slave. Now click on this CD button and select the android7.iso which you have downloaded. Now click on OK. Now you are done with Android 7 settings. Now after all the settings completed, click on Start. You can see we have booted into Android boot menu. If you want to run it without installation, then select Run Android x86 without installation. Or if you want to run Android 7 and want to save all the data which you will do in Android, so select Install Android x86 to hard disk. I am selecting third option. Now select create slash modify partitions. Now select no because you don't want to use GPT option. Now you will enter into Linux disk utility. This is basically disk management which is used in windows. You have to create a partition so what you have to do. Select new and hit enter. Then select primary. Now again hit enter. Now you have to select this option which is called bootable and hit enter. After hitting enter you will see flag category bootable is written. Now select the last option which is called write and you have to write yes and hit enter. Now you have created the partition, select quit and hit enter. Now select SDA1 VirtualBox hard disk, select format as ext4, select yes and it will format your partition. For installing bootloader grub, select yes. Then it will ask you to install EFI grub2, you don't need to install it so just skip it. Now select yes. After installing complete, click on device and go into optical drivers and click on remove disk from virtual drive. Select force unmount. Now you can reboot it by selecting reboot option. After reboot, you will see bootloader so simply select first one. 
we have booted into android nougat boot animation congratulations we have installed android 7 which is nougat let's see its android version as you can see its android version is android nougat in this android version you can access the internet That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more awesome tips and tricks and latest tech videos and I will catch you in the next one.